Good morning, Dave Snyder here. It is the 21st day of August 2015. And this is just a, you know, I've showed this before. This is the Lunar South Pole reversed over Russia and Siberia. This is a really nicely aligned uh, picture of the Lunar South Pole. Basically showing that the actual, I think the actual size, because where I overlay it is above the hemisphere, you know, the uh, equator. So it's, you know, it's way up here and it still shows its actual size very well. Um, how I know it goes here? Well, the weather patterns actually showed me this to begin with. I, the weather pattern up here was shaped just like this. You know, it had the Schrodinger pattern up here and this everything was like this. But if you look at the land, see what confirmed it for me was the borders. You turn off the borders and you can see it already just uh, right here really, really nice where it comes to this point and everything like this. Okay, but when you turn the borders on, it confirms it all beautifully. This is what happened when I turned the borders on. Watch. You can see Schrodinger right here. See the, how the borders make this circular shape? That's Schrodinger right there. See that? There's Moscow, where the spot is. Now, I watched, the reason why I bring this up is the other day I watched a video where they were talking about, oh, what was it, Magog, Mogog or something, the war god or some crap I don't even know I don't know anything about it but they were talking about Russia and Moscow and they were saying it wasn't this it wasn't that and then they they were also saying that it was something like it was the, the it was it was Satan or it was something anyways whatever it is it's it's definitely something because this is you know like the important part of the moon that everybody uh, worshipped back in the day and it just fits there perfectly see how it comes the, it just goes in there so nice look look at that that Schrodinger goes right in them borders, confirming it. And then, on top of that, this being the lunar south pole right here, on the moon, this area here, we got Tagunska right here, right here, right in the middle, where we had, where we had that, you know, that impact slash uh, air explosion, whatever it was, but it was big and it flattened, leveled all that land, and you can't see it. They won't show it to you. They will not show it to you. It's all uh, clouded out. Watch in there and they, they, they put something over it. I remember something in there. Maybe not. What was that? Something happens when you go up there close, I think. Ah, oh, there it is. There it comes now. There's the cloud. See, no, I don't even have the weather turned on. Look. I don't have the weather turned on. That just pops in on its own. Look. Automatically. You get in close. Boom. They cover it. They hide it. They hide the markings on the ground there. This has been. This has all been leveled by that area. This, I guess, it's this spot right here, really. Yeah, that's probably it right there. Which is how big? Let's see. Let's see how big this area is. It's probably, uh, you know, a few miles anyway. It's just a few miles that way. And it's, so it's not that big. Not as big as they make it sound, really. Because I mean, they got trees all around here. It just did. A, you know, that's not that big a deal. But it's still, it is. You know, compared to what we have, you know, on the. Gr everywhere else that but there's big craters on the on the earth that are just huge that's just tiny but anyways the point is is that it is in Tagunska and it does center there like this it centers right in the center where the lunar south pole is which makes this the earth's uh, magnetic north at one time which is right there today either heading this direction or heading towards Moscow one or the other it's heading this way towards Russia and Siberia so it's it, either way if the magnetic north moves to here then that means that the lunar south pole would e possibly come back to the spot or whatever but it is definitely Russia is definitely marked by the, by the uh, by the moon perfectly right there you see the whole thing fits right in them borders perfectly look at that you don't see any border, yellow borders within there that's Russia and this is Siberia over here you zoom in and all those little purple ones come in there and they form a circle. See that? Moscow being right right here. So Moscow is a marked area as they were saying in that video on the Discover Ministries they were talking about that and they were talking about Moscow, they were talking about Rome which is another one, another area that's been marked. Um, Rome and what was the other one they were talking about? Uh, Turkey Talking about Turkey, been marked. Rome, definitely been marked. Russia is just beautifully marked. I mean, it just shows perfectly what's, what's going on. I mean, 
That's the size of Schrodinger in the lunar south pole, which it, it makes it 3,500 miles every time. I'm telling you, each impact is about 35, is approximately 3,500 miles. We'll just measure right now. So we'll just start from this border, and we'll go from, we have to go past this spot because it, the edge is, actually, we have to go past both. Let's just get the whole thing up there. Hold on a second. Bring the whole thing back up here. Okay, so the whole thing is like this. It starts out over here. It would start out like right here. And we'll just bring it over to Schroeder. We'll just start right here, basically. So 3,000. It's, it's about, anyways, 3,000, 3,500 miles. Each impact is that is about that size, which makes the moon a planet. As I've met, pointed out and shown so many times, but it, at least I mean you can see the size of of Schrodinger and the lunar south pole accurately. I think with uh, with Russia and and Siberia, it's it, the borders show it clearly. I mean this is this is probably I don't know. People want this area real bad. Never been able to take it from Russia though. But you see how it fits there. Look at this edge where it comes to this point over here. Watch. Just beautifully lined, and you can see the this little spot right here fits right in. This this is a really nice alignment, actually. And it puts that center. That's a magnetic area, highly magnetic area. All this is, uh, you know, the largest eruption that they know of was in this area. The the um, Siberian traps is like the biggest lava field on the earth that they know of, or something like that. It's huge. Anyways, just wanted to make that video real quick this morning, just to point that out. Russia is important, Moscow is important, Siberia, this whole spot is important. You can see the size of everything this way. So, you know, Schrodinger is approximately, let's just say approximately, you know, 900 miles, usually, or something like that. It's, it's about 900 to 1,000 miles in diameter, you know, something like that. Close to it. Very close. Not 200. That's, that's what they say. They say it's 200, but it's not even close. The 200 is it, it's lots it's a lot bigger than that. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so have a good day. Gotta get back to work. Get some shit done. All right, have a great day.